This just in. Accused cop killer David Vickers has changed his plea to guilty in the shooting death of Officer Thomas McBain. The murder happened 25 years ago in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Doria. I just heard on the radio that you changed your plea to guilty. I did, yes. What's going on here? The last time I saw you, you said you, you'd packed your bags and, and that you were leaving for good. Oh, I was. But thanks to you, I decided to do the right thing for a change. I confessed it in court. I am so proud of you. Why? Because you sacrificed your freedom. And now the victim's family can have some peace. I did it so I could find some peace. And have you? No. I'm afraid there's more to the story than what I told John McBain. Can I buy a drink? Sure. Yeah, that'd be nice. You want white wine? Uh, no. Um, just club soda. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, that look on your face. I've seen it before. I have a pretty good idea what's going on with you. Oh, my God. Does Kevin know? What did you leave out of your story, Dan? Before I shot him, John's father called me... He called me kid. He told me I had my whole life ahead of me. And then he said he had to get home to his two sons, that they were waiting up for him. John and Michael. In that one moment, this stranger was more a father to me than my old man had ever been. I wanted to drop the gun. I wanted to tell him that if I had a father like him, I'd be waiting up too. But I couldn't do it. I'd been brought up to run, and that's exactly what I did. And that's exactly when he shot. I was too stupid to know that it was a warning shot. I instinctively turned. I fired back. On this man who'd been so nice to you. Yeah. Can you believe it? But my hands were shaking. My eyes were shut. I didn't even aim. I can't believe I even hit the guy. And he went down, and he looked up at me, and that's when I ran. I should have just kept running. I should have run out of the state, out of the country. But I went to the hospital to see if you... When I found out he had died, I... I'd never even fired a gun in my life. I didn't know what to do. But Spencer took care of me. Mm. He covered for me and shipped me out of the country. <sighs> Look, Dorian, we already had our goodbye. Let's just leave it at that, okay? No, David, we're not going to leave it at that. Look at me. David? I am not going to turn my back on you. What's Clint Buchanan going to have to say about that? Does Kevin know about what? Uh, nothing, just that, you know, that you're being so nice to me, I'm not sure he'd approve. That's not what you meant, Kelly. Yes, it is. I mean, things are so bad between... Kevin and me that talking to you feels wrong. And well, you're hurting, and so is my son. We all are. I'm sorry, Clint. What I meant when I said that look in your eye was the same thing with Vicky when she lost Megan. There was an emptiness about her. There was nothing that could fill it up. 
Thanks for covering for me with the detective. Having people know it was my fault. It wasn't your fault. Would have been too much for me to handle anyway. <laughs> if it hadn't been for you, smashing that vodka bottle, I wouldn't have survived. Nah, you're stronger than you think. It was because of you. Sharing an experience like this, it bonds people in a special way. Forever. No, not really. Well, keep it all bottled up. That's not good. I'm fine. Kevin's the one who's suffering. Yeah, he's looking for help in a very dangerous place. Yeah, I know he's been drinking a lot lately. Nothing I can do to stop it, and I hate to see it, because he's making things much worse for himself. Well, it's just going to get worse. Seeing me around is just a constant reminder of what happened. Look, I'm sorry. I don't need to burden you with my problems. You've got your own pain to deal with. Yeah, I do, but I can still try to be there for you and for my son. That's really nice of you, but it is late. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to go. Okay. Oh, God. Kelly? You all right, Kelly? Clint will understand that I need to help and support you the same way that he needs to help and support Vicky. Clint is a remarkably sane and mature person, isn't he? Yes, he is. How annoying. You and Clint Buchanan. Weird as hell. But I'm happy for you. Thank you, David. And I'm not really happy for you. I'm jealous. But you always deserve better than what I could give you. So, I wish you two the best. Well, not so much him, but I wish you the best. Watch out. You're starting to sound remarkably sane and, uh, sane and mature yourself. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But this wisdom's coming a little too late, don't you think? David, maybe it isn't over for you. Maybe the judge will be lenient. Oh, because I've been such a model citizen all these years? I don't think so. Well, I'll remain positive in your behalf. And for what it's worth, I'm... I'm grateful that our last goodbye was not our last goodbye. <laughs> the only good that could have come out of your going away would have been... Was that Spencer would be out a million dollars in bail money? <laughs> right. You behave yourself, okay? And just remember, you've got a friend out there. Thank you. Are you talking about sorry about what? No, I, I just meant I'm, I'm fine. Are you, are Kelly? You sure? What's wrong, darling? You look as white as a sheet. She fainted, Dorian. She fainted? Yeah. But I'm fine. I'm, I'm totally fine. Uh, excuse me, if you fainted, you are not totally fine. Oh, oh. You had a serious operation. I think we should take you to the hospital. No, 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 no. I, no just, you guys, calm down, okay? I'm fine. I just haven't been eating very well lately. So. Oh, I see. So you had a drink on an empty stomach? She had a club soda. A but that's okay, because I'm going to be taking much better care of myself now. Oh, really? Okay. I'm taking you home. Dorian, I just want to stay here and, and be by myself for a little while, okay? No! I, I'm not... You, you passed out, darling. You need to go home, get in bed and rest. No, what I'm going to do is sit right here and relax. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Dorian... Don't worry. I'll see you home. Oh. All right, Clint. Kelly, I'll call you, but... Take care of yourself, please. Okay. It was good to talk to you, Kelly. You too, Clint. Thank All you. Right. Well, your niece is very fragile. Yes. 
Yes, I'm afraid she is. But then so... So are a lot of people I care about these days. How'd your visit go with, uh, David? All right, I suppose. Of course, he thinks our relationship is, um... Insanely weird. Does he? Mm-hmm. Well, you know something? I don't give a damn what other people think. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> 